All right, good afternoon. What we have here today is a GE Power Brake 1 in a Houston cradle assembly. This breaker was brought in for repair uh, due to nuisance tripping. And after many, many attempts to get this working properly, uh, finally swapped out the mech completely. It had a bad mechanism that would just keep causing it to trip free. So we've got it hooked up here. We're going to do a full electrical test. A uh, little uh, current source there. We'll trip it on ground fault to make sure that the bell alarm is working properly. And we'll run it electrically and manually uh, through its open and close cycles. Okay, the breaker is currently open. We'll go ahead and Charge and close it electrically first. So it's set up for auto close, that's the way it's wired. We'll go ahead and trip it with the shunt trip first. Make sure that that's working properly. Breaker is now open. We'll run it electrically again, charge and close. And we'll go ahead and trip it on ground fault and make sure that that bell alarm gets reset properly. And the breaker should be closed. Is closed. All right, we'll run some current through, trip it on ground fault. All right, the target popped on there. We'll reset the lockout. Always important to reset that lockout if it's tripped due to a fault. Charge and close. That's good. Shunt trip one more time. And the breaker is open. Now we'll go ahead and run it manually. Crank it three times. It's important you hold that button in while you're doing that as well. Then this um, has a hit and close button for maintenance. So you've got to have a small screwdriver to push that in. And breaker is closed. And we'll go ahead and trip it on ground fault for manual test. Target popped on ground fault. We'll reset the lockout. It should operate manually. Again, push that center button in, crank it three times. Charged. Closed. There you have it. A fully operational power brake one.